Praise God, praise God, praise God. What an exciting season that we are in. Good morning, people of God. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Psalm 51 and verse 8. God, we want you to make us to hear joy and gladness that the bones which you have broken may be rejoice. The bones which were broken they can rejoice again. Good morning. I'm excited to be on this morning on the altar of fire and I bring you uh, a special word from God and a special impartation of prayer that will revolutionize your life. God is bound to do something great in your life and is bound to shift the trajectory of your spirit, is bound to lift you up, is bound to raise you and to make you blessed above all the nations of the earth. Praise God. I congratulate you for joining us this morning. I want you to please go ahead and invite people to join us on this altar of fire. Invite your friends, invite your family, <laughs> invite your loved ones, share this video, send the link to people, let them be part of what God is doing. See, God needs you to join forces with him to spread the gospel. We are the mouth, the Bible says, how can they hear if there is no preacher? We are the preacher to preach the gospel, to, to share the word of God, to let people know that God is doing something. So I want to encourage you this beautiful day and ask you to share, 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 share to your friends, share to your loved ones, share to your family. Invite somebody to be on. Invite your friends, invite your colleagues, invite your neighbor, invite everyone on your WhatsApp group, on your social media group. And let them be blessed by the mighty power of God that is going to come out on this altar of fire today. God will make you to hear joy and gladness as you've tuned in today to this altar of fire. You are tuned in for joy and gladness. I want you please, people of God, if you haven't subscribed, I want you to go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, Bible David's Ministries, and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we are on. God is going to shift the trajectory of your spirit. Praise God. He's going to turn things around and bless you with supernatural blessings that you will not even have enough room to contain it. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Father, I just thank you for today. I thank you for calling us into your presence. I thank you for calling us because you have something powerful that you have prepared for us today and we're ready to receive it we thank you because eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it ended the heart of man what you have prepared for us Lord we are ready for what you have prepared for us Lord this morning I capture every heart I bring it under the subjection of your will I capture every spirit every mind every thought every emotions every feeling I bring it under the control of the Holy Spirit and I ask that the power of God the Spirit of God will radiate over everyone in the name of Jesus that the Lord Almighty 
It will show you great and mighty things. I speak that your spirit man be activated, your mind, soul, and body be activated, your, your consciousness, your will, your emotions, your thought be activated and be surrounded by the mighty hand of God. I decree and declare that God Almighty will raise you up above all the nations of the earth because you have come on this altar of fire today. You will have a supernatural encounter with God that your life will never be the same again. Lord, touch every heart. Lord, touch every spirit. Lord, ignite those whose fires have been, have been pulled out, oh God, by life circumstances by the challenges. Lord, ignite their fire again. Start them up, oh God. Send your holy fire. Send revival into their spirit, oh God. Lord, do what only you can do. Set your spirit, the spirit of these people on fire. Let them encounter you, God. We bind every territorial spirit that may want to distract them, oh God. We ask that let your will be done. Let your glory come. Let your spirit radiate over them. We bind every influence of demonic spirit, forces, darkness, curses, spirit jinx we command it to be broken over God's people Lord stir up revival in their spirit stir up a holy fire in their spirit stir up miracles signs and wonders do what only you can do Jesus 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 we trust you there is nothing hard for you you are the God of all flesh there is nothing hard for you you make a way where there is no way you make a way in the wilderness and you cause waters to gush out of the desert you said behold I will do a new thing shall it not spring for Lord according to your word, Lord. Let new things spring forth in the heart of all those who are listening right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, encourage those who are discouraged. Stir them up, oh God. Ignite those that are weak and broken. Heal those that are sick. Deliver those who, who are under oppression. Set your miracle power, your deliverance power, your freedom, oh God. Do what only you can do. Let your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Let nobody leave this meeting today or this broadcast today without feeling an impartation directly through the airwaves through the sound, through everywhere, to go into their homes, their families, those who are driving, those who are moving around, Lord, those who are in their workplace and still partaking, those who are just home, those who are walking, Lord, let the power of the Holy Spirit go and transmit in through them, in Jesus' name, and pull down everything that does not glorify you. Lord, do it, oh God, that your name alone will be glorified. Do what only you can do. We surrender to your will. We surrender to your presence. We surrender to you, oh God. And we ask you to take your place in the name of Jesus. Let every man be a liar, but let God only be true. This morning, the Bible says you waking at us. It says morning by morning, new mercies I see. God, we need new mercy. We need new grace this morning. Pour your your grace upon everyone in the name of Jesus send you a whole or anointed upon every child every adult everyone every man and every woman let us encounter you let us feel your tangible palpable presence to go through the day with us for so everyone that is just starting off their day Lord with you the, on this broadcast let them have oh God a supernatural uh, encounter with you and not just an encounter let them continuously experience you being on their side on our side walk with us throughout the day walk with us talk to us walk with us the um, journey with us every step of the day everything that may be planned in a day that is not of God let it be uprooted out of this day let this day be blessed we we summon this day and we command the womb of this day to be impregnated with power with grace with glory with the anointing with miracles with with signs, with wonders, oh God, with blessings, with testimonies, with money in the mail, with ta ta tangible testimonies, miracles of alignment everywhere in Jesus' name, prosperity, healing, wholeness, good news every day for us, oh God, as we come and start off the day with you, oh God, as we give you the first days, the first hours, the first minutes of our day, we ask, oh God, that you will take it up, oh God, and you will bless it, and you will make every part of the day meaningful and very productive in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you the glory. <clears throat> We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. Thank you, Father, because we know you are working. We know you are doing it, and we honor you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. I am super blessed, 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 blessed to have the opportunity to come talk to you today. I do not take it lightly. I know that God planned it. I know that God has prepared something 
and he has scheduled you to partake in that nothing will stand in the way. You are blessed by the Lord in the name of Jesus. This is the season of your manifestation. This is the season of your elevation. This is the season of your settlement. This is the season where you will rise up and you will shine again and you will fulfill the destiny that God has placed upon your life in the name of of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Today, I want to also, if you're just joining and you're wondering where you are, I want to intimate you that we're on here every Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Say you're joining from a different time zone, EST, MST, PST, whatever time zone you're joining, you just need to check your local time zone, set your alarm, and be part of this powerful, make this a daily, daily encounter with God. Make this a time that you come and spend with God. Let nothing ship this. Let this prayers, this altar of fire be that time that you position to have a joint prayer with God's people in Jesus' name. I want to also encourage you to invite your family to partake in this, to be part of this. God is going to use this mightily for you. Today we started off by reading from the scripture where I just read out for you in the book of the, in the Psalms. Uh, is Psalms 51 and I love that Psalm 51 but I just jumped over to verse 8. But today we're going to be praying about spiritual cleansing. Spiritual cleansing. I want you to type spiritual cleansing. I felt in my spirit that so many people are going around with baggages of things that they've carried for so many years. Baggages of things that they engaged in while growing up or even in their adulthood or things that they just found daily that they battle with. God says, I should tell you that it's time to clean the house because the Bible says God is a holy God. And when God is, because God is a holy God, his eyes cannot behold iniquity. The Lord told me to tell so many people that they have not received the blessings that they're supposed to receive because so many people, their house is filthy. Their heart is filthy. Their homes are filthy with strange things. It could be seen and it could be little things that you call idols that are things that you, you that contend or competes with God. God is a jealous God. He's not jealous or, or jealous of you. He's jealous over you. He's jealous over you. Loves you so much. He can, he can share you with another God. He can have you have other things to take his place. He has to take first place so here in the psalm 51 that we read i love that psalm today we're going to be taking prayers of spiritual cleansing some of you need to cleanse your home as well it could be your personal cleansing of your spirit and it could be also a spiritual cleansing of your home a spiritual cleansing of your family uh environment your bedroom your home or even um, your workplace or anywhere you are in sometimes we need to have a spiritual cleansing remember we always talk about spring cleaning this is not just spring cleaning for your home alone you got to do a spiritual cleansing of your home if you have been experiencing sudden strange things in your home or sudden strange things in your life maybe you're feeling somebody following you you feel an evil presence or sudden things that has been troubling you you probably have to ask God for spiritual cleansing sometimes people are polluted and someone's asking me how by social media some people stay online for so many hours going through reels going through all these things uh, hearing this filthy music and to filthy words and their spirit man they are opening portals i see portals everywhere it's a portal in the spirit that spirit man is open to these portals and the spirits are jumping into them and that's why you need every day to make sure that your spirit man is constantly cleansed. And not just to, to be cleaned, but also to remain cleansed. So that's why I'm super careful what I allow into my spirit. I'm super careful what I, I give access, what I listen to, what I watch, what I sleep on, what I wake up, wake up to. Because these are all gateways. And so many people these days, they don't even understand how much they are allowing the demonic culture to invade into the your spirit man in Jesus name I ask God to give you wisdom 
and the willpower to resist every form of addiction that is allowing you to give access to these demons to come into you. So many people are addicted to substances and that gives open portals for demons to come or spirits to access their spirit man or even through some people are addicted to uh, social media, some people are addicted to just so sudden ungodly music or some form of entertainment, all these things that our, our culture these days is laced with so many things that is allowing our spirit man to be clean to be clean sometimes we just want to go through watch something honestly and something pops out through that the spirits are being transferred but today in Jesus name as we go through spiritual cleansing I command that your spirit man will be cleansed from every form of filthiness every form of dirt every form of invasion of demonic spirit that has come into your spirit or filthy dirty spirit dirty words dirty languages that may have accessed your spirit today is the day that we give them a quick notice and we say enough is enough I want you to type right now enough is enough say right now I command enough is enough I decree right now and I declare that everything that has accessed my spirit man through any form medium way or thought or words or associations affiliations connections relationship I command you right now you are given a quick notice <coughs> You got to go out of my body right now and out of my spirit. I'm going to have a squeaky clean spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. So many people have your spirit defiled also through defiled food. Sometimes some food is sacrificed to idols and you go ahead just eating everything that you see without totally blessing it and sanctifying it. You are given access to demons to you enter your body. But in Jesus name, everything that has come into your body through any form of defilement are now cleansed in Jesus name. Your spirit man is cleansed. So today I'm going to go through the book, uh, Mind the Blaze, and we're going to do a spiritual cleansing in the book that's uh, chapter one, and we're going to begin to uh, pray uh, from that scripture, from that book. But before we do that, I would like to read through the scripture that I read initially from Psalm 51. It says, Psalm 51, and I start from verse one, it says, have mercy upon me, O God. According to thy love and kindness, according unto the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out, blot out my transgressions. You know, someone's watching and it's like, oh, I'm born again. I don't have to ask for mercy. Someone's like, oh, I feel like I'm a man of God. I'm a woman of God. I'm a prophetess. I'm anointed. I don't have to ask for mercy. That's a lie of the devil. We need the mercy of God more than anybody. We all need the mercy of God. David was here a king. David, David was here a, a, a man of the utter the heart of God yet he still asks for God's mercy I don't know about you but I'm broken in my spirit this morning because I just want to ask God for mercy because I see God I need mercy I see things that God has to cleanse out of my spirit I wanted to type right there on that chat box this morning and say, have mercy on me, oh God. Have mercy. You got to cry out like David. You got to cry out like David and say, God, have mercy on me. I am not worthy. I am not worthy to stand before you. Even the most cleanest, the most, the Bible says even all our righteousness is as filthy rags before him. So can you not think of what our unrighteousness looks like if all our good doings they are all filthy before him we need the mercy of God I need the mercy of God I want you to type right now and say father forgive me my sins and have mercy upon me have mercy on me I receive your mercy by your blood I receive your mercy by your blood I receive mercy by your blood I receive mercy by your blood let your blood wash me from every form of filthiness let your blood wash me from every form of unrighteousness let your blood wash me from every form of iniquity let your blood wash me from 
from every form of, of, of sin in the name of Jesus. The Bible says if we say we have no sin, the truth is not in us. He says that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Whether you know it or not, you may have sinned in your words, in your deeds, or even in your thoughts. Nobody sees it, but maybe your thought just derailed for a mo moment. You need to consciously and constantly ask for God's mercy. Lord, we ask for your mercy. Guess what? If you're not asking for mercy right now, that's a sin on itself because that's a sign of pride. And pride is a sin before the Lord. So you got to humble yourself and say, God, I know that I'm not worthy, but I receive your righteousness and your holiness by the blood of Jesus. There are two different things, righteousness and holiness. And sometimes we misunderstand righteousness or holiness, sometimes holiness or righteousness. Yes, you're righteous because the righteousness is imputed into you by Jesus, by, by accepting Jesus and receiving the nature of God. But guess what? Holiness is a lifestyle. Holiness is what you have to do to keep that righteousness in place. Holiness is not imputed. Holiness is acted, is done day by day. So the Bible did not say without righteousness, nobody can see God. He said, without holiness, no one can see God. So it's possible that you are walking in unholiness. Even, and, and then you're feeling like you're proud and you're good. But God says right now that you should humble yourself and ask him to cleanse you. See, we, you can go ahead and clean your home. Cleanse your home spiritually or even physically. But when inside, the cleansing does first has to come from within you. Before you can clear out the demons around you. You got to first ask God to clean you from every sin if you don't clean yourself the enemy has a legal right has a legal hold to stay in your home to stay in your house to stay in your body to stay in your temple to stay in your spirit the devil is a liar my god my god my god my god my god lord we ask some mercy I don't just ask for mercy for myself. I ask for mercy for everyone that is online this morning. Everyone that is eager. Everyone that is thirsty. Everyone that is asking. Everyone that is hungry. Everyone that is calling. I ask for mercy. Mercy concerning my sister. Mercy concerning my brother. Mercy concerning anyone that is in my family. Lord, we ask for mercy. If we say we have no sin, the truth is not in us. Have mercy upon me. Jesus son of David have mercy upon me I need your mercy your mercy can preserve me your mercy cleanses me your mercy preserves me your mercy keeps me your mercy elevates me your mercy raises me up your mercy sustains me your mercy delivers me your mercy preserves me your mercy protects me your mercy preserves me your mercy delivers me your mercy defends me your mercy strengthens me. Your mercy uploads, uplifts me. Lord, I receive your mercy. My God, the Bible says uh, daily, daily he loaded us with new mercies. Mercies, new mercies every morning. I know you had God's mercy yesterday, but this day, this, day, this morning, you need new mercy. If you need new mercy, I want you to talk and say, I receive mercy. New mercy. Guess what? You cannot arrive at the place that God has proposed you to go to without his mercy. You cannot arrive at that pinnacle of greatness without his mercy. Mercy. Mercy, oh God. I need you, God, for your mercy. Pour out your mercy on me, oh God. In the name of Jesus. The David cried, have mercy upon me, oh God, according to your loving kindness and according to your tender mercy. He says it multiple times. According to the kindness of your heart, my God, according to your tender mercy. God, have mercy on me. I can't do it myself. God, show me your covenant of mercy. Remember, we were talking about covenants. 
Praise God. We were talking about covenants, covenants, and we began to talk about one of the things that we did not talk about was the tender mercies, the tender mercies of David. Praise God. David had a tender mercy, a covenant of tender mercy on him. So much that even though he made a lot of mistakes, the sure mercies of David remained. The sure mercies of David, the sure mercies, the sure mercies of David is going going to rise up for you. The sure mercies of David is going to speak for you. I know like David, he cried for mercy. And so I also cry for mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's something called the sure mercies of David. I want you to read this, to watch this. And we talked about covenant, so you should have a better understanding. Isaiah 55, and we're still going to go back to Isaiah 51 because that's our anchor scripture today. That's what we're going to pray about. Remember Psalm 74 verse 20, have respect for the covenant. So I wanted to get into a covenant of mercy today. And that is taken from Isaiah chapter 55 and verse number 3. Isaiah Isaiah 55 and 3. This is what it says. Isaiah 55 and 3. Incline your ears and come unto me. Hear and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. Even the sure mercies of David. Woo! This is God saying, in case you don't know, David had a covenant of sure mercies. That's why no matter what he did, God's mercy was on him. And now God is calling you. He's giving you an open invitation. He says, incline, Isaiah 55, 3. Incline your ears. Come unto me. Here, says the Lord, and your soul shall leave. Your mind shall leave. Your destiny will leave. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. So the covenant uh, that God had for David, it went beyond his timeline, his time frame, his generation. It was an everlasting covenant. God wants to make that everlasting covenant with you. And guess what covenant he called it? He says, even the sure mercies of David. This is what I want today. I want to the sure mercies of David. If you want the sure mercies of David, I want you to begin to type the sure mercies. It's so guaranteed. The sure mercies means it's guaranteed. God is saying, I made it with David. But here you see David was the one that actually asked for it. He asked for it in Psalm 50, 50, uh, 51 that we just read it. David said, have mercy on me according to your love and kindness. According unto the multitude of your tender mercy. I don't want the mer uh, you to have mercy upon me according to how much I can do, but according to the multitude of your tender mercy. Don't give me mercy based on what I deserve. Don't give me mercy based on what I do. Let it come from the bosom of your tender, the multitude, the immeasurable space in your tender mercy. Blot out my transgressions. Blot out my transgressions. God is going to blot out your transgressions. You want to cry out to God today and say, blot out my transgressions. The transgressions of my family. Transgressions of my lineage. The transgressions of my generation. Let it be blotted out in the name of Jesus. Then verse 2 says, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Wash me thoroughly. I wanted to ask God today. I wanted to type it. Say, I receive the short mercies of David. I come to God as he has called me and I receive the short mercies of David. I receive the short mercies of David. I receive the mercies of David according to God's tender mercies, according to his love and kindness and according to his tender mercy. I receive a cleansing. Wash me thoroughly. Wash me. Don't just wash me anyhow. 
wash me thoroughly. I don't want any trace of any sin in me. I don't want any trace of unrighteousness in me. I don't want any trace of sin, iniquity, or any form of filth in me. Wash me, God. Wash me. Anybody here asking God to wash them? Asking God to cleanse you right now. Today is a day for spiritual cleansing. You're going to clean your spirit. You're going to ask God to clean your thoughts. You're going to ask God to clean your emotions. You're going to ask God to clean your desire. Some of you, you're going to ask God to clean your appetite, to clean your mind, to clean your spirit, man, to cleanse you inside out in the name of Jesus. Verse 2 says, wash me thoroughly from every iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. God is going to cleanse you from your sin. Guess what it says in verse 3? For I acknowledge, I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. It starts with you acknowledging your transgressions. I rebuke every spirit of pride. I rebuke every spirit of arrogance. I rebuke every spirit of self-righteousness. I rebuke every pride of life and every spirit that lusts after the flesh and the things that they have arrived. Lord, I decree those spirits to be bound right now. And I ask that everyone here will come with humility of heart and acknowledge their transgression and let their sin be ever before them. Knowing that they're not whole, they're not holy in their own self, but the grace of God gives them the empowerment and the enablement to walk holy. Watch this, what it says against thee, thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and declare when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. David here crying out to God, you were shaped in iniquity, and in sin did your mother conceive you. You need to, your body, this body of the flesh, is always craving for the wrong things. But I ask God for mercy right now upon every one of us, that every form of sin be taken away from our spirit, man. In the name of Jesus, we ask some mercy. We ask some mercy. We ask some mercy. Some people are like, oh, I, have not, I've not, I don't commit fornication. I don't commit adultery. But guess what? The Bible says uh, to the tiniest thing that if you look lustfully at somebody, that is you're committing a sin with that person. You're committing a filthy, lustful sin with that person. you got to ask God to cleanse your heart right now. And constantly our spirit men are being bombarded online with all from So it's almost like an episode of fornication, adultery, nonsense stop going on when we go on social media but God is saying ask me to forgive you receive a cleansing right now now we're so desensitized to it that we take it for granted not knowing that we're sinning against God Lord wash me Jesus is coming and he's coming so soon one day he will blow that trumpet you don't want to be left behind you want to live clean you want your spirit to be cleansed in the name of Jesus David here says, I was shaping iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Someone's like, prophetess, chase out the demon in my home. Cleanse my family, cleanse my home. Chase out, but God says, first, I want to clean you from inside. I want to chase out every filthiness from out of your spirit. I want to give you a deep cleaning, so that everything that does not glorify God evaporates out of your spirit, man. And that's what I'm praying to God. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. I'm praying that God will cleanse me. Some of you need to go into a fast. Just a spiritual cleansing. You know some people go into cleansing fast for their body. But their, their body they go into seven day cleansing. They just take liquid just to so have a cleansing. The doctor tells them to do that. Their dad teacher tells them to do that. Guess what? I'm, your, I'm, I'm a spiritual leader. And I'm asking that some of you will have to go through a spiritual cleansing by fasting and detoxing your spirit from all kinds of toxins that are around us spiritually. God cleanses us. Cleanses us. Cleanse us and wash us clean. Verse 6 says, Behold, thou, thou desirest tr truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me know wisdom. You know, there are parts of us that are hidden. Nobody can see it. Nobody can see your thoughts. Nobody can see what you looked at. But guess what? God can see it. Everything is open before him. The places that you go, the people 
people that you talk to, when you gossip about that person, God cleanse me, oh God. If there is anything even hidden from myself by me, God, cleanse my eating part. Cleanse me from inside so that I may know wisdom. Purge me, verse 7 says, which is up and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. God is about to cleanse people from every form of filthiness right now. It's about, I wanted to begin to type. I don't know if you like what I'm talking about today, but it doesn't matter. I've got to speak like God's asked me to speak. He says, tell my people, it's time for cleanup. It's time to be clean. It's time to have your cleansing. It's time to have a detox in the spirit. It's time to have your spiritual cleansing. Get rid of everything that does not glorify God. Disconnect certain things that will block you. I was reading in the book of Matthew and I seen it and I was so shocked again. I read it before, but just reading it again, it shocked me because I'm starting the book of Matthew right now. And guess what it says? It says, if your eye cause you to sin, pluck it out. Ooh, if your eye pluck you, or cause you to sin. So if people cannot pluck out their eyes, they can't even turn off your phone. If your phone causes you to sin, just Turn it off. And some people, God is not asking to turn off your phone. You just need to delete some apps on your phone. If that is causing you to sin, you can't let that go. You can't let it go for the glory that lies ahead of you. How can you experience the weight of glory that he has prepared for you? It's time to clean up your phone. I said it. It's time to clean up your computer. It's time to clean up some sites online. It's time to clean up your spirit, man. It's time to cleanse yourself. It's time to disconnect and delete some numbers from your phone. It's time to clean up anything that will stop you from getting into the kingdom of heaven. Get rid of it right now. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It's time to clean up. David said here, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me. And I shall be whiter than snow. Some of you are in the wrong relationships. And you know it. But you're still hanging there. Because you just want to pass time. There's nothing like passing time. You are burning your life away. You got to clean up right now. Straighten up and put yourself together. Because we're running out of time. The Bible says uh, that the devil knows that even his own time is short. And so why are believers ignorant that their time is short. That Jesus is going to come in the twinkle of an eye. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up. Verse 9 says, I die face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Blot it out, God. Blot it out. Let that be your prayer. Let that be your heart cry that God blots out every form of sin and iniquity and filthiness that may be in your spirit. Let it be taken away in the name of Jesus. Verse 8 that I read before. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice so your bones that have been broken god says i can put it back together those things that have been broken god says are you gonna hear joy and gladness so that your broken spirit will be put back together verse 10 says create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me i know you had a new spirit but that's why the words did not say new it says renew that means the spirit was there new but now it needs a renewal even the Bible says in Romans chapter 2, be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. I want you to begin to type, renew my spirit. Renew the right spirit within me. Renew the right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart. Somebody begin to type right now. Somebody begin to pray to God that your spirit might be cleansed. God create in me a clean heart. Create in me. Check my heart. Walk through my heart. God, remove every form of sin and everything that does not glorify you. Take it out of my heart. Check my heart again. Some of you need to get rid of pride, anger, bitterness. Many people keeping offense, anger and still coming to church, still preaching to their neighbor, but they are still holding things against our people. Having offenses, having anger, having unforgiveness. Oh, I forgive, but then how come you still saying this person did this? If God says, when you forgive, you let it go. Like he does, he says, I forgive, forgive others so that I also will forgive you. 
So all these things are clogging people's spirit. God is pouring his, his anointing on this church. But we are clogged. We are constantly doing deliverance and chasing demons. Because the moment the demons are cast out, your spirit is clogged again. And you give them access to come back in. God says get rid of them once and for all. Lord, I get rid of every people are losing ground to Satan because of unforgiveness. Every time you hold the fence, bitterness, you open the door for the devil to come in. I'm not letting the devil come in. Nobody is worth it for me to allow the devil to torment me because I want to hold you in my heart. You should get rid of that right now. Nothing is worth it. And live with a clear conscience, a clean and a clear conscience, a see-through conscience, a see-through heart, a see-through spirit. Lord, make my spirit clean. Wash me through your word. My God, my God, today is different. I feel a different kind of anointing that God is releasing right now. Somebody watching, you're actually crying. I see you in tears. You are actually, tears are coming down your eyes because God is putting a spirit of conviction upon you. Do not harden your heart. Soften your heart. Let your heart be made with flesh. Break down before God. Don't be hardened. Feeling like you have uh, you have it all together. I'm a man of God. I'm a woman of God. I'm anointed, so I can't fail. I can't fall. That person wronged me. Get rid of it. Get rid of it and let it go. Get rid of it and let it go. You, some of you, would have to call some people and ask for their forgiveness because God is calling you to a higher realm, a higher realm, a higher realm. The Bible says, create in me a clean heart, oh God, renew a right spirit within me. Lord, I know I have the right spirit, but I need you to renew it. Lord, let my spirit man be renewed. Come on, begin to pray to God right now. Ask him to renew your spirit. I wish you were speaking in the spirit right now. I wish you were praying to God right now and ask him to cleanse your spirit, man. Hallelujah. It's verse 11 says, cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. This is such a powerful prayer that I could pray it nonstop for 10 hours. Cast me not away from your presence. Because his presence is everything. Because his presence cannot have all sin and filthiness. Cast me not away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. I wanted to type that right now. Go ahead and type that in the chat box. Say, Lord, cast me not away from your presence. Someone's like, oh, he, he loves me. Guess God, God loves you. But he loves you and you don't take that grace for granted. You don't take the grace. The Bible says, I will continue in sin and ask great grace to abound. God forbid. Someone's like, how can a loving God send people to hell? The truth is God is not sending anybody to hell. They are choosing to go to hell by themselves. Because he's arms are always stretched out. He says, I want you to come to me. Lord, but I cannot take sin. Do not cast me from your presence. Take the sin away so that I will be able to stay in your presence. So many people are walking through their day without the presence of God because of sin and just open doors, open portals. Things that does not glorify God. Wrong music. Strange music. Strange atmosphere. Strange aura. Cast me not away from your presence is my prayer, O oh God. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Anybody here hungry for the, it's a Holy Spirit. It's not an anyhow spirit. It's a Holy Spirit. It's not just a power spirit. He's not just a miracle spirit. He's not just a deliverance spirit. He's a holy, holy, holy spirit. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Walk on my heart. Walk on my heart. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me 
with thy free spirit. Oh my God. Then will I teach transgressions thy way and sinners shall be converted unto thee. You have no right to go and convert in people if those sins are still there. Then will I. After you receive the mercy of God. Verse 14 says, Deliver me from blood guiltiness. O God, thou God of my salvation. And my tongue for shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips. And my mouth shall show forth thy praise. God, I want to show forth your praise. But you're going to cleanse me. Because you cannot stand iniquity. You cannot stand sin. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me, O God. For thou verse 16 thou desirest not sacrifice else I will give it thou delighted not in burnt offering the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a contrite heart oh God thou will not despise you know, we're always talking about giving sacrificially. And people think it's about the money. It's not about the money. It's the obedience. When God tells you to give sacrificially, it's not looking for the money. It's the obedience. It doesn't desire that sacrifice, that physical thing. It's the obedience, the sacrifice of your heart. Else I will give it. He says he delighted not in bond of it. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. When your spirit is broken, you can't hold back money from God. You, his work, you can't hold back anything when your spirit is broken. The problem is that people's spirits are hardened and we are asking them to sacrifice. But their spirit is not broken. But when your spirit is broken, you will come to the altar with your giving. You will come to the altar with your treasure. You will come to the altar with your talent. You will come to the altar with your time. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, that will not despise. Lord, take my heart and use it. Mend my heart, bring my heart under your control and break my heart for what breaks yours, O oh God. Break my heart from what, for what breaks yours, O oh God. Do, is verse 18 says, do good in thy good pleasure unto thy Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Thou shalt, then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. With burnt offering and whole offerings, then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar. Lord, let this be my heart cry, O God. After your spirit is, is cleansed, see verse 19, it says, Then God will be pleased with sacrifice of righteousness. Then you can bring your burnt offering and a whole burnt offering. Then God shall take pleasure. You can offer your bullocks on the altar. Don't come giving to God in pride if your spirit is not broken. Lord, I receive your mercy. Today we receive cleansing right now. I wanted to say God cleanse me from everything that stands as filthiness in me. We're going to begin to take this few prayers and I want you to begin to say it after me. And I'm reading from page 21 here. Say it after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for choosing me to be your temple and a carrier of your glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for choosing me to be your temple. I am your temple. I am the carrier of your glory. I carry your glory. I carry your presence. I carry your anointing. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for making me your temple because you said I am the temple of the Lord. Thank you, Father, I thank you for the opportunity, verse number two. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to walk with you in kingdom relationships and in covenant in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to walk with you in kingdom relationship and covenant walk in the name of Jesus. Say right now, I present my body, a temple unto the Lord. I choose to be a channel of God's blessing to my generation in the name of Jesus. Say it again. I present my body, a temple Unto the Lord, I choose to be a channel of God's blessing to my generation. I am the temple of the Lord. I'm a channel of God's blessing to my generation in the name of Jesus. Come and say it again. I present my body as a temple. I present my body. No filthiness can stay in me. No sin can stay in me. I receive a cleansing as a temple of God in the name of Jesus. 
I am a channel. I am a channel of God's blessing to my generation. Say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I make a declaration that I'm the temple of God. My body is the temple of God. I declare that I am holy and sacred in Jesus' name. Say after me again. Father, in the name of Jesus, I make a declaration that I am the temple of the living God. My name is Rebecca. I'm a temple of the living God. My body is the temple of the living God. I declare that I am holy and sacred in Jesus' name. Say after me, I offer myself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to the Lord upon God's holy altar. In the name of Jesus. Say it again. I offer myself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, upon God's holy altar. In the name of Jesus. God is not looking for your money as your sacrifice. First, is looking first for your heart. Offer yourself. When you give yourself, you give everything that you have. Lord, today, I offer myself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable upon God's holy altar. I offer my heart, not just my lips, not just my mind, but my whole being as a holy sacrifice upon God's altar. I receive a cleansing in my spirit, man. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Say after me, let my heart be cleansed from every impurity and sin in the name of Jesus. Say right now, I declare my heart is cleansed from all impurities in our all sin. In the name of Jesus, my heart is cleansed. My spirit man is cleansed. My mind is cleansed. My thoughts are cleansed. My affection is cleansed. My emotions are cleansed. My passion is cleansed. My appetite is cleansed. My desire is cleansed. My body is cleansed. My thought pattern is cleansed. In the name of Jesus, from every impurity and every sin, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say after me, I speak to my body to come to a position of consecration and sanctification in the name of Jesus. Say, I speak to my body, come to a position of consecration and sanctification in the name of Jesus. My body, my spirit, my soul, my thought, my life, my mind, my will, come to your position of consecration. Come to a position of consecration and sanctification. I want sanctified. I want consecrated in the name of Jesus. I am holy by the grace of God. In the name of Jesus. Say after me, say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I confess every known and unknown sin in my deeds, in my thoughts, and in my actions, and in my words. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I confess every known and unknown sin that I may have committed in my words, in my deeds, in my thoughts, in my actions, in the name of Jesus I confess it, known and unknown, conscious and unconscious, in error or intentionally. I receive your mercy. I confess them right now. Say after me, I receive forgiveness from every conscious and unconscious sin, iniquity, transgressions, in the name of Jesus. Say it again, I receive forgiveness from every conscious and unconscious sin, iniquity, transgressions, in the name of Jesus. Say after me. Oh Lord. Pour the clean water. Of your word. On me. And flush out. Every impurity. In the name of Jesus. Say it again. Oh Lord. Pour the clean water. Of your word. On me. And flush out. 
every impurity in the name of Jesus. Lord, pour your clean water. Pour the clean water of your word. The Bible says it will pour out its clean water on you, God. Lord, on us, oh God. Lord, we ask that you pour out uh, the water of your word. Cleanse out everything uh, that is filthy. Everything that does not glorify you. Every thought, every emotion that I am having. Every appetite, every drive, every thought pattern, everything uh, that is not glorifying you. Let the water of your blood, water of your word, cleanse my tongue, cleanse my words, cleanse my thinking, cleanse my vision, cleanse my eye, cleanse my desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Cleanse me. Flush out every impurity. Flush it. Let the water of the word of God begin to flush it. Begin to pray right now. Let the word of the word of God begin to flush it out. Flush it out. Flush it out. Flush it out. Come on. Flush it out. Some of you, things are jumping out of your body. God is flushing your spirit, man. It's flushing you and cleansing you from every form of sin and every form of impurity. Get up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Every appetite. Every desire. Every lustful thought. Every habit. In Jesus' name. Name. Up and out in the name of Jesus. Get up and out. Get up and out. You can't stay there no more. You got to go. You got to go. It's cleansing time. It's cleansing time. Lord, go to the nook and crannies of our spirit, man. Go to the parts and the hidden, hidden parts and the inner, in, inner places, the hidden parts and the inward places of our heart. Cleanse us from everything that does not glorify you. Wash it. Wash it away, God. Wash it away, God. Wash it away. I get rid of everything that is standing in the way. There's so much more to go. There is so much more. I trust God that we'll have another part of this and we'll, we'll continue to pray. But today, I just feel, feel in my spirit that some people need to begin to just receive. Right now, stretch your hands and begin to receive. I want to pray for you right now. Every form of sin, every form of habit, every form of things that does not glorify God up and out. Out of their body, up and out of their spirit, up and out of their mind, up and out of their emotion, up and out of our thought. In Jesus' name, and Lord, we ask, oh God, that by the word of your word, we will be cleansed. Everything that is not of you be flushed out. Lord, you said you are the one that caused us to will and to do your good pleasure. Lord, make us to will, make us to do your good pleasure. Help us, oh God, to walk with you. Help Help us, oh God, to walk in your way. Help us, oh God, to walk your walk and talk your talk and live the life that you have destined us to. Lord, help us to walk holy, circumspectfully. Oh God, give us a sanctification of our spirit, man, a cleansing, marabos of our inner man. Wash us, purge us, and we'll be whiter than snow in the name of Jesus. Let us be cleansed. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now we receive God's mercy by the blood of Jesus. By the blood, the Bible says he was wounded for transgressions and bruised for iniquities. So every iniquity in you is cleansed by the blood of Jesus. I want to begin to type the blood of Jesus cleanses me. Type the blood. We don't say it enough. We don't use the blood enough. Say, I receive mercy by the blood of Jesus. I receive mercy. By the blood of Jesus. I believe we're going to have another part of cleansing. And that way we begin to cleanse our outward part. And cleanse our homes. And cleanse our families and environment. In another session. But today I want to just receive the blood of Jesus. Receive the blood of Jesus. Receive the blood of Jesus. I drink the blood of Jesus. As I drink the blood I'm cleansed from inside. My spirit man is purged from every form of sin. Creating me a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence have mercy upon me according to your loving kindness and according to your tender mercy God give unto me like you, you said in Isaiah 55 give me the sure mercies of David in the name of Jesus I feel God has done something amazing today I feel fresh I don't know about you I feel refreshed I just feel light if you feel light I wanted to type that you feel light begin to give you a testimony there whatever you're feeling right now if you feel like things have left you if you feel just clean a freshness is coming in your spirit. I want to begin to type that. That freshness is coming. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It makes me to lie down green pastures. It leads me beside the still waters. 
it refreshes my soul. So God renews your soul, refreshes your soul in Jesus' name. Receive that refreshing. Let that your soul realm, your mind, your thoughts, your emotions, your will receive the freshness of God's grace. Well, God is good and his mercy is endures forever. It's been a day today. I've been so blessed and I know you have been also. I want you to continue to join us online on this altar of fire every weekday, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. You can go on our website, BibleDavis.org and get a copy of this book and all the products that we have. This is a powerful book that will be a blessing to you. All the products that we have, the, the, the details are showing on your on your on your phone right now on your computer your device you can scan those QR code go to our website and go to our online store and get your copy it will be a blessing to you and to your family no, not just for you but for everyone around you it's loaded and also go to all our products and let it be a mighty blessing that will revolutionize your life in Jesus name I want you also people of God to continue to subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and subscribe to Bible Davis Ministry on this YouTube channel or hit the uh, like button and like this uh, page on Facebook Bible Davis Ministries as well so that you can get notifications whenever we are on and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notifications when we're on YouTube as well invite somebody to watch this let somebody be blessed by what God is doing here. I'm super, super excited about the great things that God is doing. If you're in the DFW area, you want to join us in church on Wednesday, 7 p.m. and on Sunday, 10 a.m. every week, and you'll be richly blessed. The address is on our website as well. You can also check our website, 1311 Marketplace Drive here in uh, Market Garland, Dallas, Texas. So if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, you know it's in the Garland City. You want to be there. The zip code is 75041. We are excited, Unit uh, Suite 220. We are excited about what God is doing in your life. Join us every day on this altar of fire and be blessed. Go to our website and, and, and engage in what God is doing. Partake, read blogs, do everything that you can do there. Feed your spirit. Go on our YouTube channel. Watch old videos. Rewatch them. Send them out and let people be blessed. The Lord has cleansed you and I receive the refreshing that God has given to you. I receive it also to every other person that is watching the replay and I re release it to you in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and the Lord be gracious to you. The Lord cause his countenance to shine upon you and it will give you peace. I'm super elated. If you haven't given this is a good time to give. Remember, when you've given your all to God, when you've sacrificed your heart, you, giving will not be hard for you. You keep giving. You cannot say, I've given I, I, and I can't give anymore. Or just say, oh, I'm going to give only my tithe. You should give your offering. You should give sacrificially. You should trust God for something and give directly towards that thing and see what God will do. All the giving details are showing on your screen right now. Obey God. Don't just get used to hearing this all the time that you take it for granted. God always has a day that he has prepared a blessing for you. It might be today. So let today be your day of giving in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. We'll continue to pray for you. Continue to lift us up also in prayers. As we see you next time on the altar of fire, remain blessed. And remember what we always say, that this is God at work. God bless you. Consuming fire On my altar your fire That's me to the